few games like that before in terms of just endless madness? Yes, I have. <laughs> um, I'm afraid to say I've been on the wrong end of one or two and I've been on the right end of one or two. And obviously tonight was we were on the right end of uh, a good performance by both teams. Obviously, we were on the right end of the result. Um, was it fun for you or were you just... Um yeah, do you know what? I don't get too I don't get too high and I don't get too low. So it was fun. It was great. You know, I try and put myself as if I was a supporter, if I was a fan. And I would want to watch a game like that. It's not great for managers. You know, today it was lucky for me and obviously disappointing for Ufik. I know that. But um, yeah, no, I'm a fan of football in general. So it was a great, entertaining game. What did you tell the lads at half time? <laughs> or, or was it that sort of game where it's in yeah. the hands? Yeah, listen, we started slow again. Uh, that's something that I need to address and something I need to try and correct. And I've got to find a way to, you know, even if you start slow, we shouldn't be a goal behind um, or 2-1 behind. We, you know, we don't need to be chasing games because the league is very tight and you'll leave yourself open. You can't keep coming back. What we've shown this year is we are able to come back. We've got great resilience, great character. The mentality is very strong. And I think that it showed again today. I just said, listen, we need to be better with our decision making. We need to have more communication because they're a very good team. They play, they create numbers a bit like Sydney with, with the system that they play and they're very good in transition and we didn't deal with it as well enough in the first half um, but we did in the second which was better and obviously we had a little bit of luck. Um, which was your favourite goal? There were quite a few. Um, yeah, um, poor, I can't even remember half of them. Um, I would say probably Juki's finish, you know, the... Young Devlin, uh, he had a wonderful strike as well, and you know I joke with him. You know I haven't seen too many of them. Um, Juki, we see it. I see it every day in training. So the timing of that probably was key in the game because that got us right back after a, a disappointing goal for them to go ahead again for the third time. Um, but the response from a great finish by Juki, great ball into him as well, showed his strength and the finish was exceptional, top class. Um, but just the resilience and the character. That's all I can talk about my team today. If, if you try and get a coach to analyse that, whether it's attacking-wise, great, defending, really, really poor. But character, you know, I can't fault the character. Not just to my set of players, I think Wellington as well, they showed really good character as well, trying to get ahead each time as well. Will you pick apart the defending though in the coming days? Because there were probably some instances of defending that you've previously yeah. Games, yeah, without a doubt. Defending. Yeah, uh, there's a time and a place to do that. Obviously, we've got a quick turnaround as well. In a couple of days, we play a very good team in Perth. We know that. So uh, I will deal with it. Uh, how I deal with it, I'll let tonight. I'll have a good sleep on it and I'll figure out how I'm going to deal with it tomorrow. Um, would you, have you had a look at the decision right at the end there with the, with the Hamid, the second goal? That yep. Chalked off? I have, yep. Thoughts? Um, again, with all VAR decisions, handballs, penalties, you know, I looked at the penalty that we got given against us today and, you know, there's a little bit of contact and, you know, they're subjective, you know, we, with offsides, offsides are clear, you know, and I think you hear Premier League managers talking about this all the time. They're not, they're not complaining about the offsides, maybe the part of the body or whether there's clear daylight they are but it's clear there is no grey areas with offside offside is offside so uh, I think that's football in literally 90 seconds today is the wonderful world of football and obviously the disappointing world of football as well in relation to a result um, and just I know it's a little bit hard to sort of extract yourself from, from the moment especially on a night like tonight but um, are, you, are you where you thought you'd be as a team at this point in the season we're nearly halfway there um, yeah Performances can vary quite wildly from, from good days and bad days and even in games like that where there's just sort of no control really. Yep. Um, are you happy? Are you behind where you thought you would be? Or yeah. you I think I knew it was going to be a process. I knew it was going to be a, a journey. Um, I had to put some building blocks in place pretty quickly when I first walked in the door, and I did that by signing four players, I think, on one day, which was good. Obviously, the thing that's pleased me the most is the integration of the young players. You look at both wing both wing backs today. You look at young Nata. You look at Keanu in midfield as well, as well as Margs, who obviously is not our homegrown player, but a young player who's not played many games in the A-League. We've got five, five players in the A-League uh, in our team tonight that are under 23 years of age it's fantastic can we do better Will, do we need to do better yes do we need to be more consistent yes I think that comes with time I think you look at the better teams in the league um, over the last two years they probably had settled squads settled teams you know you build a fluidity amongst yourselves and, uh, and an awareness of what each other play what players like what your teammate wants 
what he likes, what he doesn't like and things like that. We haven't quite got that yet, which is why I focus on training all the time about little combinations and, and the collective rather than the individual. So are we where we want to be? No, we never will, if I'm giving you the honest answer. Um, but we're progressing. But what I demand and what I ask for straight away from day one was a, a winning mentality, um, a spirit, a togetherness, um, and true character. And first, and you know, even before all that, be a good person. If you're a good person, you're a good teammate, and that's that's a non-negotiable for me. Over to the Zoom, Carly. Anything from you? Vince has covered pretty much everything, but I, I guess if you could um, look at the season as a whole so far, how, how have you? What have you made of the entertainment value of the season so far? It's been great. I just said in in my staff changing room there. I said. You know, I'm a, I'm a stickler for watching football. I watch Sunderland today win the, the trophy against Tranmere. I watch Swansea against Luton. I watch Premier League games. I actually enjoy watching A-League games. One, because I need to, all right? But two, the entertainment value is excellent. You know, there's lots of goals. There's lots of good attacking. There's bad defending, as you saw tonight as well. Uh, but I just enjoy watching football in the A-League, I think. You know, and there's a lot of British people that I speak to regularly that because of the time, get the opportunity to watch it and they all have positive feedback on it. What we need to do is obviously get more games like that and be on the right side of the results as well. That would help. Uh, can you have some sympathy for, for Wellington when they, you know, have an ending like they did and don't come away with anything? Yeah, 100%. Uh, as I said to Vince, it's football's about emotions. It's important you don't get too high and it's important you don't get too low. Today will hurt for them. Um, they've got a really good coach. We know that. I know that. And, you know, I think he'll, he'll just regroup the players. That's what happens. You know, you're only, the team is only as good as how you respond and how you react. Not just when you're winning games and it's easy. It's when you have adversity and you have to rebound and react and you get a response from your players. So, uh, yes, I do, because I've been there. It's not nice. Um, but, you know, the one thing is the sun always shines the next day.